Now from downtown Cleveland, MLB Network brings you baseball from Progressive Field, the Midsummer Classic between the National League All-Stars and the American League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in a moment by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, but first let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Stars as voted on by you, the fans. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2019 American League All Star. now we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this all-star game and now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one Mark DeRosa tell us a little bit more about this lineup Matty I know I'm stating the obvious but the middle of the order has to come through today you got guys that are playing way above their pay grade on the periphery and it's time for them to look and see the big boys do their job. Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Tanaka right now is the best of all of their starting pitchers. Good fastball, 92 to 94. Best pitch is the split finger. He'll throw it early, he'll throw it often. If he has the good split, these hitters are in for a long night. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And let's take a look at first baseman Carlos Santana. Originally came up from the minors as a catcher. Also has dabbled at DH, but don't get it twisted. This guy can handle first base as well with soft hands and big time power at the plate. In is Christian Yelich. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 2-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off and the count runs full. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. The 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What's the key for that them tonight, second. D Rome? That's Matty, your stop. the key in this one for this lineup is they got to stay staunch oh, yeah. in the middle of the plate. They can't start swinging at everything, or this guy will abuse them. He'll start flipping up the rosin bag. They have to sit over those 17 inches and hold to that. So striding in, Javier Baez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two, two and two. two the two-two. 
Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Just underway here in Cleveland. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And the slider gets him swinging to God. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created that equal. Right there, that, that's a he goes down hitter. on strikes. Freddie really made that guy in the Freeman. mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate, Freddie Freeman. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. It's the National League nothing. American leaguers coming to bat. You're watching the Major League Baseball All-Star Game exclusively on MLB Network. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, this lineup's got to be willing to adjust. They cannot stay staunch and try and pull everything, or there will be a ton of ground ball and weak fly ball contact. They have to be willing to use line to line to get this done today. Clayton Kershaw, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. When you think about the Cy Young Award, he's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready on one and two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark DeRosa, what do you have for us the on this lineup? Basement. Taking a look at this lineup, they're going to have to work the count. That's the key to success right here. They have to find a way to drive this guy's pitch count up and get into that bullpen as quick as possible. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. The 2-1. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. On to the home run. Porch and gone. Particularly deep home run by today's standards, but it certainly did scream out of the park in a hurry. You see there on show track, an impressive 112 miles an hour off the bat. So one away here with the bases empty and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. One out, nobody on. Uh, 
And it's two balls and two strikes now. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms Batting it. Four. 111 the miles an baseman. hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Ten and off. In now, Carlos Santana. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. Second inning coming up. It's the American League one and the National League nothing. Leading off the inning, Cody Bellinger. And they'll need him to get something going here. Right. He ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Swing and a liner. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. All right, let's fit. check out the American the League All-Stars on defense. No and the guy I want to focus right, on auto. is second baseman DJ LeMahieu. I think what we need to take into consideration is his ability to play that position at six foot four, six foot five, with soft hands and the ability to turn a double play. We already know he's an offensive force. Now at the plate, Nolan Arenado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. Here's a pop up now. Santana calls for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six. The first baseman, Jock Bell. In now, Josh Bell. The 1-1 one, one home. Doesn't catch the oh, outside corner. It's a ball. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. The three one. There's ball, ball four. Batting seven. The catcher, Wilson. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. The 1-1 is taken oh, for ball two. Out. The 2 1 is strike two swinging. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion.
count remains full. Here's the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Bell leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back to back walks now with two away. He did not want to Batting let the hitter off the hook with the two second outs. Baseman. Now he's got a Rick runner in scoring position to deal with. Marte. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Springer looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field, and it gives the National League a three-to-one lead. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Into the box, Ronald Acuna. Oh. And the pitch misses yeah. low and away for ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So the two-out hit will bring Christian Yelich in this inning. The batter, the left fielder, Christian. So it's Yelich. back to the top of the order now. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. Set. Here's the 3 1. Hard hit ball to short. He's got it. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. But the big blow of the inning comes right here a three run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's the National League three and the American League one. Here's J.D. Martinez. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And he struck him out. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. That is sick. And let's take a look the at third Javi Baez. Alex. I don't know, second base, right shortstop, man. third, maybe a little outfield. Doesn't matter. This guy has platinum hands. Platinum, not gold. One of the best defenders in our sport and probably the quickest tag man in our game. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun Batting to watch seven. him go about his business. The catcher, Todd, Gary. No doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, That's mostly good. because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez fouled away.
Kershaw is ready. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. One, two, three go in the American League. Score holds. It's three to one. Your Jose Marios, please. a right-hander standing now, six foot even, American will take League. over the pitching duties here. Number 17, Jose Barrio. Here's Javier Baez, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fouls this one off. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. The one two. A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here he comes again one two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. Foul. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. With how hard guys throw these days 94 miles an hour is good five. but not as impressive Ready. as it used to be. Professional Green hitters man. can catch up with that so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off speed stuff to make it look more effective and that's exactly what he did right there. Standing in now Freddie Freeman two oh, balls and a strike to Freeman. Third inning here three to one our score. In the air to right center and carrying well way back there now and gone home run. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman and the National Leaguers have taken a four to one lead. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Into the box now Cody Bellinger. Full count to Bellinger three balls two strikes. Line drive to left. Brentley is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now batting the third baseman Nolan Arenado. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the two out hit keeps the inning hot and brings in Josh Bell. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. Now He's able it. to keep his hands inside baseman. that ball, stay square Josh. as long as possible, Bell. and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. In now, Josh Bell lifted the other way down the left field line, and that will end up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home pitch and he looks at one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The yeah, the catcher, pitching coach takes 40. a stroll out to the mound Will and say. with the pitcher this young you just John want to let him Red know Red. that he's out there for a reason and to trust what got him here is good enough to get him through this.
Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Looking to minimize the damage here. Zero. Two and two. Arenado on second. Bell on at first with two down. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits with the big blow being the home run. No errors, and two men left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the National League four and the American League one. Your Jacob attention, DeGrom, please. The six-foot-four-inch right-hander comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 48, Jacob DeGrom. Riding into the box, Michael Brantley. The 3-1. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 3-2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Yelich. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting nut. The shortstop. Jorge. Polanco. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball oh, two. Line but speared on a hop. And there's out number two. The right fielder, number four. Joel Bringer. So bases are empty here with two gone. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. A 1-1. A ball and two strikes now. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Still a ball and two strikes. Waved yeah. out and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. The American League goes down in order. They trail it four to one. Ladies Justin Berlander, the six-five right-hander, takes now over on the mound. The American League, number thirty-five, Justin Berlander. Patel Marte. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. The 1 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Ready to deliver the one and two. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Here now the 2 2. Fouled off. Oh. 
look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he lays oh, off there, ball four. Perfect. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other the guys is fielder, exactly what 13. we saw right there. Pitchers Ronald, work around Acuna, them and nibble the corners a lot junior. more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. A base hit in his first trip. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Santana will watch it into the glove for the first out. Now batting left fielder Christian Yellich. Now in the box Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 3 2 pitch. Is swung on and missed strike three. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have the been sitting number on a nine. speed pitch, but Short instead stop. he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance Fire. to put that ball in play. Into the box, Javier Baez. Two balls and a strike to Javier Baez. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. The 2 1 is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. The designated hitter, number five, Freddy. Stepping in. Freeman. Freeman. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Here it comes on one and one. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Nope. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Ball three. Three, three two. and two now. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. The 3-2 pitch, and he misses again, ball four, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's a Up big no-no. He league. obviously had to work carefully the right went on, but he did Cody. not want to walk him to load the base. He's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder, Cody Bellinger. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. The set and the 2 1. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. 2 and 2. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they're going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. 
National Leaguers leave them loaded, but they lead it four to one. Your Walker attention, Bueller, a six foot two now inch right hander, jogs in to take League. over on the mound. Number 21, Walker Bueller. Into the box, DJ LeMayhew. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Well, that breaking ball called just a bit low. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on-deck circle. This is flared out towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Up next for the American League, the center fielder, Mike Trout. Stepping in, Mike Trout. He reached on a single in his first try. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. And he got him. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, now right? All he First wants to do base. is get on base Hold and up. take advantage of the strength of his Dead game, which up. is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Stepping in now, Carlos Santana. Lifted down the line and left. Here comes Yelich. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. He'll get it into second. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality now swing. Now that, the designated hitter. Out there and it was enough JD. to get him safely to second. Those Mark are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitcher. now JD Martinez and he lays off the fastball away so it's two and two now and strike three called as he says you got to be kidding me with the side retired danger averted following the two out double more baseball on MLB Network right after this Your Shane attention, Bieber, please. a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now Number out of the 57, bullpen. Number 57, Shane Bieber. Here's Nolan Arenado, hopped out and singled in his two trips to the plate. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The one and two pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one two delivery. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. 
Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That the batter, elevated fastball. The first base. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they yeah. can do something with that. But most yeah. of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. In now, Josh Bell. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Shoots this one over to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a Up fastball, the but gets League. an off speed pitch, doesn't try to do too Wilson. much, and drives it for a base John hit. Rara. Into the box, Wilson Contreras shot back up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now that had to feel good batter, because it was one four. of those that you don't even Second feel the baseman. ball hit your bat. Show good track job. tells us he blasted it out there Mark at 115 Ray. miles an hour. So yeah, he squared it up about as good as you can. Standing in now, Cattell Marte, and it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Springer. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a 5 to 1 ball game. Great now job batting. there by center this power hitter. Known for Ronald driving the ball Acuna. out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Now the 2-1 pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Long run, but he gets there to track this one down, and a very nicely recorded out number three. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the National League five and the American League one. Ladies Luis Castillo gets your the call from the please. bullpen to pitch in relief. Now pitching for the National League, number 58, Luis Castillo. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Alex Bregman. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north oh, of seven, damn. eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. should have been ball four there but it's a called strike and that runs things full at three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle and that finds its way through for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. I know this guy isn't known for his now hitting batter. prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Gary. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone. Grab your glove and flash some leather. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. Okay. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Michael Brantley is on deck. 
It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. Michael. So that one must have Brantley. had some real good late life. Throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. In now, Michael Brantley. Ball two. Up high. Three two balls, and one now. Strike. Castillo is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to the pull batter the number off. 11. Shortstop, Jorge Polanco. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Counts even two and two for Polanco. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. The 2-2. Two -two. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. Acuna is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with a victory and look on to the next one. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1 to one, the final score. The National League All-Stars took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Clayton Kershaw is credited with the win. Masahiro Tanaka only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosen, Dan Plezak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.